to the test course. Uh, it is really a wonderful thing to be able to talk to you today. Uh, I'm Gil Pratt, uh, the Chief Scientist for Toyota Motor Corporation and also the CEO of TRI. Um, today we are going to talk about extreme vehicle dynamics and control and essentially how we are advancing both safety and fun to drive. So I want to start with a picture of the future. I want you to imagine a future where we provide an AI version of Latvalasan as standard equipment in every car that we sell. And I want to ask you a question. What could that AI do? The first thing that we think about, of the two answers that we've thought of, is that that AI could help to prevent crashes. And at TRI, we call this the guardian function, which is essentially to be a guardian if a driver makes a mistake. And so the second is actually to teach the driver how to drive better. And we call this idea driving sensing. So again, imagine that you have a professional race car driver in the passenger seat. These are the two kinds of roles that they could play and we build an AI system to play the same role. And so the total effect, if we can do both of these things, is we can achieve greater safety and also more fun to drive. And that's the goal of what we're doing. So let me begin about preventing crashes and introduce a demonstration that we did in the United States, which is called Drifting Guardian. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so you kind of get the idea, and I will not play the whole video, but afterwards we will give you a link to a YouTube video that you can watch the whole thing later. Uh, so why are we doing this? It's not only to have fun. The real reason is if you notice, he is drifting around this obstacle here. And so if we can use this extreme vehicle control, we can achieve a better safety factor for when you have a sudden obstacle and you need to avoid the sudden obstacle, for when you are driving on snow, or when suddenly you hit a piece of ice. It can be used in all three of those cases. And here it is a little bit technically. With the standard ADAS system that is in most vehicles, including Toyota vehicles, it tries to do what is called traction control, stability control, and anti-lock braking system. That allows for control in this rectangular area that you see here. The x-axis here is side slip, that's a velocity, and the y-axis is yaw rate, how quickly the car is yawing, turning. So standard ADAS is only inside of this space. However, if we can use the AI to drift like an expert, we can use this entire space that's out here. And this is some recording from actual drifting operations of our car. And so we believe this will allow for much greater safety in the conditions that I told you about to prevent crashes. That's the first part. Now we're going to do the second part. Fun to drive, driving sensing. Can we have an AI version of a driving expert 
help to teach people to drive better. Now, both of these systems use very similar algorithms. In fact, it's the same team of experts that's working on both of them. And they both are part of this group at TRI in Extreme Vehicle Dynamics Control. And so what I'm going to do is I will introduce one of our team members from the group, and his name is John Goes. John. And that is the limit of my Japanese. <laughs> so, um, I lead the Extreme Vehicle Dynamics Control Team at Toyota Research Institute. And in fact, you just saw me in that autonomous drifting Supra video, sitting in the driver's seat, doing nothing. Uh, we are very excited to be here to work with our colleagues at the chassis division uh, here in Japan to develop the racing controller you will get to experience today. And in fact, we're here at a very exciting time. It's Rally Japan. And the world's best drivers, some of the world's best drivers, have come here and gathered here for the race. Last weekend, we were very fortunate to have Yari Mati Vaibawa drive the same car around the same course right here on the uh, skid pad. And even though he's a very busy guy and only got a handful of laps in the car, we are already learning some very interesting and exciting insights. So our physics-derived controller uses a model of the car to compute and execute the fastest way to get around the curve. We're excited to see that it has very comparable performance to the very some of the very best moon drivers like Lavalasa, but it actually has a, its own different style. By looking at the similarities and differences, we can start to see where humans and computers can learn from each other and work together. Here, our controller is shown in orange, and Lakama-san's data is shown in green. We see here that the both um, the controller and Lavalasa are able to drive the car up to the very limits of the friction circle. So up to one G in combined braking, turning, and acceleration. However, they choose to deploy these limit handling skills in different lines around the track. Here, which uh, to a uh, trained racing IR are significantly different. And we see that the steering signals are also very different. In particular, a controller it's designed to have very smooth steering, which hopefully you'll experience in the car today. Whereas La Bahasan, we can see, is using these pronounced quick inputs on the steering signal. And when talking to him, we learned that he uses this to feel and even to listen for the limits of friction as he goes around the track. And this is the, an example of a really interesting human insight that we would like to learn from and can use to continue improving and making a controller better and safer in different situations. Thank you. Um, I really hope you enjoy your ride today. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, John. Um, so let me just conclude and let you get to the fun part. Uh, the first conclusion. Uh, this is not a human versus machine competition. Many times, unfortunately, when we think about AI, we think of the man versus the machine. That's not what we're doing. Instead, we are developing human plus machine technology. And this is not a new idea in Toyota. In fact, it's the same idea as Jidoka, automation with a human touch. And so I think that's very important to understand. We want the human and the machine to work together. The second is our AI system does not imitate the expert action. We do not record what the expert does and just learn from it and play it back. Instead, we learn why the expert driver is better than our AI system, and we incorporate our understanding into AI to be used in different circumstances. Because again, the purpose is not the racetrack, the purpose is the passenger vehicle. In a circumstance that we cannot predict, 
and we want the AI system to work in every circumstance. So we must understand the professional driver. And again, the concluding purpose is to improve both safety and fun to drive. And today you will experience a lot of this, I hope. Thank you very much. Okay.